this is OpenCV and CV blob running. It's set to find blue objects. So here's a blue piece of paper. You can see that the way the light reflects on it determines the amount of the blue objects which is detected by the color range. So there we've got pretty much the whole object. You can see in the lower right hand screen the alpha mask for the blue object which OpenCV is actually processing. It's not processing the RGB image you're seeing. It's actually processing the lower frame. We can add another object to the screen. We now have two objects. OpenCV is set to track the larger object, which is the blue piece of paper. There's a center line, which signifies the center of the target. There's a green dot, which signifies the center of the blob, which is the blue piece of paper. There's a line between the center point of the blob and the center point of the camera, which is the red crosshairs. We're also painting the blobs, the pink and the yellow that you see is open CV and CV blob actually painting each of the blobs. You can see in the background behind the image, we're detecting the blob, we're detecting the X and Y coordinates of the center of the largest blob, and then we're detecting or calculating the offset between the blob and the center of the target. Again, much of it's dependent on the light and the color range that you pick. Here we have a pretty good image we'll, we could capture. If I have two pieces of paper now, you can see they merge into one blob if I separate them. There's settings at which the two blobs become one. They merge together and form one blob. You can pull those apart, it will track both, but it's going to target the larger of the two blobs, which in this case is the one in red. screen over you can see the calculations it's making. So in this case it's saying it's detected it's there we go. So we found one blob, it's painting about thirty thousand pixels. You can see that the center of the blob is a two oh nine and one forty approximately. As I move this down towards the center, you'll see the offset decrease. that's just about zero. You move away, you see the offset change, positive or negative, in the X and Y axis. And that's OpenCV and CV blob.